let's take a look at an example where understanding the units of your map layers can be really important. On my screen, I have a boundary of Greater London in England. And let's imagine I want to simplify this boundary using a geometry generator style. I'll double click on the layer, I'll go to symbology, I'll click simple fill, and then in symbol layer type, I'll use geometry generator. And in this case, I can just type in simplify, open bracket, after geometry, it's just comma and then 500. So I'm gonna simplify the boundary using a tolerance of 500 meters and I click apply and it becomes a bit chunkier. I change it to a thousand, chunkier still. I can change it to 100 and it becomes less chunky. I can also smooth it using five iterations and hit apply. So you can see what that does. Now I've used a hundred there because the data I'm using is in meters. And if I go to the source section, we can see it uses British National Grid as a coordinate reference system. And in the information about the data set, the units are in meters. So let's try the same thing on the other layer. I'll copy this. And I'll turn on the other layer, which is, looks the same, but let's do the same thing with Geometry Generator. And if I hit apply, what happens? Why on earth do we get this result? Well, we get this result because if we go to the information for this layer, this is in WGS84. So it's a global coordinate reference system. And the units are going to be in degrees here, not meters. So if we wanted a similar result, we'd have to kind of estimate and put in a low value here, like 0.1 and hit apply, and even lower 0.01. And that's because the data unit of this layer is not meters. If I change the units here, I could, you know, I could change it to inches, for example, or other units, but it won't be the same as doing it to the other layer. So let's click OK and let's open this layer. And we can see again, if we change it to 500, it's going to do it 500 meters generalization. So just a reminder, always be aware when you're doing these kinds of things, what the units of your data are.